WandaVision episode 9 is now on Disney+. Plus. It is the finale, so please make sure you definitely go and watch it uh, if you haven't already before watching this video. So I want to start off with this. I am not someone who like seeks out fan theories. I think it's uh, a real easy way to have mismanaged expectations and is only a setup for disappointment. With that being said, when you spend as much time on the internet as I do, you come across some certain theories, like they're unavoidable, and you might get attached to some of them. So with that being said, were there some things that I wanted to see in this episode that I didn't see? Yes. Did I want to see a cameo of a Marvel character we've already seen before? Sure. Did I want to see a new character introduced? Yes. Did we get any of those things? No. So does that leave me somewhat disappointed? Yes, I can't help but feel that. It's it's no one's fault but my own and I guess the internet a little bit. Um, you know, the Marvel writers don't owe us anything. We've we've come accustomed to stuff like that. But their responsibility is making a good TV show. Um, and if you can do that while, you know, including a little bit of fan service, awesome. If you can't, then, you know, you need to make the best show possible. And I think they did that. But again, I just can't help but feeling just a little bit of disappointment that we didn't get to see, like, I don't know, Doctor Strange or some other new character introduced. So I wanted to get that off my chest before I start talking about the actual episode. Let's talk about then what we actually got. We got um, the Vision versus Vision fight, and I'm about to say Vision a lot in the next you know short amount of time, so just get ready for that. So we have uh, Wanda's manifested Vision fighting the evil white Vision that um, Sword brought back to life, and in the most Vision way possible, uh, manifested Vision convinces the evil Vision not to kill him because neither one is the actual Vision, and then manifested Vision seemingly like puts his memories in the evil vision who then like changes his eyes and then he just flies off so it stands to reason that that might be marvel's way of kind of bringing that character back we don't know because as soon as that happens he just kind of bounces and we don't see him again for the rest of the episode so did they just undo vision's death possibly we'll have to see in in upcoming movies we also have Wanda finally sort of embracing her role as um, the Scarlet Witch when she is battling against Agatha. And I think we can all agree that uh, assuming that Halloween can happen like normal this year, Scarlet Witch is going to be the most popular costume. Um, I really dug that look. It was a great homage to the classic style with a little bit of a modern twist. So um, I really enjoyed how they you know, made that look and how they kind of had Wanda embrace her role as the Scarlet Witch. And this episode really brought out the feels at the end. Um, I don't know if it was as consistently as emotional as the previous episode, but the emotional, like, depth of this episode, the intensity of it, I guess uh, is a better word, I think was, was more deep than the last one, because what happens at the end of this episode, and this is a slight spoiler, Wanda, um, she, she ends her you know, reality. She takes it all down. She frees the people of Westview. However, that means that she has to let go of her kids and of the, the vision that she manifested uh, for herself. And that, you know, it's about a three to five minute scene is very emotional. Um, and you really, you really feel that. Um, but at the end, Wanda just kind of uh, flies away. She knows that even though she um, sacrificed her family for the people of Westview's freedom. They don't know that. They just see her as someone who kind of imprisoned them for an undetermined amount of time. And so she decides to leave because she doesn't want to be, you know, thought of as a villain, even though she kind of is. Something that happened in this episode that I think will rub a lot of people the wrong way is something they revealed with um, Quicksilver. I won't necessarily reveal or spoil what that is right now but it is very similar to what marvel did with the mandarin and iron man 3 um i think a lot of people had high hopes when they introduced evan peters as quicksilver in the show but uh what they ended up doing with him in this episode i do not think will endear uh marvel to any of the fans anytime soon i think a lot of people will be upset about that we do get two post credit scenes in this uh, episode, which, again, after the, the main credits roll, you're like, oh, there's there's two post credit scenes. That might be when they introduce, you know, 
we might see a cameo. The first one rolls by, and it's a fine scene, definitely setting up um, an upcoming movie. And you're like, okay, there's still one more. Second scene rolls by, and then for a split second in that second post credit scene, I definitely thought the way that the camera was like dollying around a corner that it was going to reveal someone was there, but it wasn't, again, just setting up another movie. So I like the post credit scenes, but wanted a little bit more. Real quick, just talking about WandaVision as a whole, I really enjoyed it. I was very skeptical after the first two episodes, but episodes three through eight were, in my opinion, top-notch television. I could I could not take my eyes off the screen uh, when each episode came out. I was, you know, really excited with anticipation and really looking forward to but what happened. Um, again, I can't help but feel a little bit disappointed that it ended how it did, but Overall, I think WandaVision is probably going to end up being one of the best TV shows to uh, to come out this year, and I, I really enjoyed watching it. I am interested to see if they end up coming out with Season 2. I have a feeling that these Disney plus Marvel shows will be more like limited series, where you just have the one season, just because they're so closely tied to the plot of the movies, like... You can't really have the show, the shows and the movies going on at the same time because it's the same stuff. You at least would have to wait until Wanda's next like character arc kind of winds down before you would make another season, which, you know, her, her the next movie she's supposed to be in doesn't come out to 2022, so it would probably be like three to four years. Would they want to wait that long? Would people still want to watch a show like this again? Uh, who knows? Um... I will say that a lot of people, myself included, thought that WandaVision was going to be, of the Marvel Disney Plus shows, not the best. After watching this show, I will say that um, Marvel has set themselves a very high bar. As I'm recording this on March 8th, that is about, what, 11 days until Falcon and the Winter Soldier comes out, so that show has uh, a lot to live up to, I will say that. All right, WandaVision, Episode 9 and Season 1, possibly the only season. Have you seen it? If so, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for more.